Hi team. Uh, so I thought I would do a spoken of the first poem I ever wrote, which uh, is about my conception, uh, which is a slightly bizarre thing to, to write about, but there is a little story behind it. And it's called The Accident. I'm not supposed to be here. It sounds queer, I know, but this place, this space on earth wasn't meant for me. I was an accident, or rather, it was accidental how mental my arriving on this planet came to be. My mother can conceive, you see. Her internal maternal pituitary gland failed to regulate the hormones needed to have planned or not to have planned a baby. A baby. Well, that was me, eventually. But not before a doctor or two or three had told my mother it wasn't meant to be. That I wasn't meant to be. I'm sorry, Mrs. Darrell, but your internal apparel isn't up to scratch. You actually might want to look into other options. I've got some adoption leaflets on the counter. You'll encounter them on the way out. And that was that. My mother, poor bugger, got into her car. She put down her foot and travelled a far way down the winding country lanes that led to my home. That wasn't my home, just yet. She just didn't see Mr Brown in his green Fiat Panda. Poor man, nearly 80, and lately he'd been struggling to see, to see the right side of the road. I'm afraid he displayed a complete lack of awareness of the hazardous kind, for into my mother, my blind-sided sweet mother, he ploughed his car. The bar was raised for crashes of this nature, the paramedic said as they cut my mother out. For never had they seen a crash so intricate, so detailed, so pure, for into the door, no word of a lie, a cross was bored into the metal. A delicate petal of steel formed into the shape that brought life out of death and gave me my breath. A crucifix of rust and oil and blood that must have been the subject of photos for months stood proudly out, carved into the wreckage of my mother's cinquecento. A memento of the moment that brought about my conception, which, on reflection, was the moment when time began. But in the moment that my mother, my dear sweet mother, was flung forward in her seat, complete with whiplash and burns that peeled her delicate skin like a tangerine, her head hit the steering wheel. And though she could not feel it, that little tiny bean inside, that gland that was so poorly, had surely begun to tick, to work, to whir, and stir her into life, to stir me into life. That solitary smack had cracked the code, had awoke my abode and slowly began to regulate those hormones that had prevented my existence or anyone's existence in my mother. It makes me shudder to think of her lying there in blood and not knowing the miracle that she had been part of. That a car crash had healed her, had fixed her pain, the societal shame of not conceiving wiped away in the maimed wreckage of a cinquecento and Mr Brown's receded licence. He survived to tell the tale, but failed to drive again. It was probably for the best. And as for the rest of the story of God's glory on earth, through accident, through violence, through miracle, through the faltering eyes of an old man, you can but imagine my father's relief to enfold my mother into his arms, disarmed by the shock of his close shave with loss. Impossible to imagine the love making needed to fill that void of fear, to avoid the creeping thoughts that she might no longer be here. To hold her, to feel her pulsing blood that hours ago was caked with mud and yet she escaped. She lived. And after that night, so did I. I tried to stay quiet, to be a surprise. But early one morning the nausea kept calling and my mother did a test. She thought it was best to censor the language that flew out of her mouth. As she tried to stop swearing, could no longer bear it and fuck... Fuck, I'm pregnant. Fuck, Royce and Darrell, I'm pregnant. Fuck. 
she lay on the floor. And with an almighty roar, my father came pelting his way up the stairs. He scooped her into his West Country arms and charmingly said, as only a man born and raised in wolves can, Yam golden, old cheek. Yam golden. And she was. From that day on, she was golden and glowing. Through summer and snowing, she shone with her secret. And her secret was me. I lay in the dark, in the coziest part of her womb. And I slept. I was here. By God's grace, I was here.